everybody was waiting for a minute <coughs> for my friends to come on. A uh, happy Monday. Loki says hi. And this is Ginger and this is Ginger's Rant Show. And it's Monday, January 23rd, 23. <laughs> so you can say 1 23 23. Really want to look at it in this way. Um, I don't know why this is not. Hold on a second. Let me check something. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just checking to make sure my settings are right. All right. Anyway, <coughs> you're gonna have to forgive my cat. He has been. Uh, um. Let's see. Hey, Carol. Nice seeing you. How are things where you are? I hope good. And of course, you know, the weather's been kind of wild here today. And my computer's acting up. Now, forewarn you, Carol. My webcam is on the verge of dying. Okay, it heats uh, overheats and then it, sometimes it quits working. So I'm working on, hey Nancy, I'm working on uh, getting a new webcam, this time with a small pod stand and you guys can see me better. Yeah, I'm doing good. It's outside of, you know, the weather change and everything. Can't make up its mind. Mm -hmm. You know how that is. Like that everywhere. Anyway, as you can see on my title, convictions, investigations, and etc. <laughs> a lot of stuff is happening right now. Uh, today, I was able to list, while well, I was making my uh, production notes, uh, I was listening to the Tim Cormell show that John was on. And if you have a chance, listen to it. Uh, it's very informative. Uh, in some ways, it's kind of funny, um, and it shows you know what's going on, and everything a little bit more closer to home. And, and Tim Cormell is in he's in Washington D.C. That's where all the action is, and I could tell by a lot of the radical idiot. GOP, they've been causing some problems, and he says it will backfire on them. Because it'll get to the point where people will just have enough really well. Um, but when you get a chance, he's on Facebook, and he's on another new social platform called Mastodon. Uh, now, that was the centralized platform. It's not centralized like Facebook and some of the others. This is decentralized. In other words, you pick a server, and then you get followers to go on your server there. Uh, I would have to look at it and check it out and everything. Now, I know John is on that. Uh, he's, John's still on Twitter. I might go back on Twitter now that the Elden Musk is no longer CEO there. Uh, it sounds like they're trying to get their stuff back that's going on. But I don't know if Twitter's gotten a new CEO as of yet. Uh, frankly, I think Elon Musk should just take Twitter and give it directly to the employees there and make it employee-owned. Then have a uh, set of employees picked every year or every two years, whatever I want to sit on the board and, you know, to run it and everything. Um, oh, you listen to it too, Carol? Good. Well, this is my first ever chance to be able to hear it because for some reason I'm not getting his, um, what do you call it? Notification that he is on, so I would have checked out. He's not on. He's not on uh, YouTube. 
I uh, wish it was, because it would be a lot easier. But he's on Facebook and Mastodon. And he has his own web page. And so I did um, put that on my favorites, his web page. So, anyway. Really interesting. Uh, also in the news, it just came on about an hour ago, I think it was. Um, remember this Richard Barnett who sat down in Nancy Pelosi's speaker's office and put his feet on her desk. And he held up a very important envelope and things like that. Um, anyway, he's been convicted in all six counts. I don't know what the condition was. Probably breaking and entering, um, all that number of other charges. And mainly insurrectionist charges. Plus, also illegal firearms. He had a stun gun, um, everything on him. Also, I think he had zip ties on him, too. So, um, anyway, he's convicted. He's going to be going to prison. Which is good. It should send a message. If you want changes to the government, go through your senator or representative and then put a topic out and say, hey, let's change. This is not really working. Let's work on changing this. It's the only way to do it. Instead of doing a criminal act like he did. Okay. Um... So anyway, he's going to prison for a while. And when this happened, his ex, his, I thought this was so funny. His ex-wife tattled on him. And they told him where, they said, well, this picture, we were having trouble identifying this guy. And she called the FBI and said, hey, that's my ex-husband. So, anyway. There have been so far in this in this investigation, uh, there so far have been 900 arrests. Out of those 900, uh, there were 500 guilty pleas. Just guilty pleas, not actual guilty convictions as of yet. I don't know how many convictions there are. They have now, but it's quite a bit. So, good. The main leader that needs to be held accountable is he who shall not be named. He should be tried, arrested, tried, convicted, and put in prison. And kept there. Now, the other thing that's going on in the House side of the Congress, um, I don't know if you heard about it or not, but this also happened the last hour or two. This was just reported. This is through Associated Press. Uh, Hawking Jeffries has nominated or appointed Adam Schiff of California and Swalwell, Eric Swalwell, to the intelligence panel. And House, the so-called House Speaker, he should not be one. McCarthy has no right to, I think, to be a speaker. He has no, yeah, I don't think he has any knowledge. I don't think he's ever really studied how everything works. Uh, he, anyway, speak, speaker, I shouldn't call him Speaker McCarthy, I should call him McCarthy, uh, said that he will block those appointments. Well, on the House side, they, their committees are run a little bit differently than it is in the Senate. Uh, the committees on the House side, which I'm finding out now, there are select committees. In other words, both sides can appoint those on those committees. But they cannot be blocked because they're select committees. They're not, um, it's sort of like the January 6th committee. That was select. So they can't really block whoever they uh, don't want on the panel. That doesn't work that way. The only person that can, has the power to, 
to block or appoint is both the House Speaker and the Minority Leader. But the House Speaker cannot block those appointments. So in other words, Eric, um, Eric Swalwell and Adam Schiff are going to be on the Intelligence Committee, and I'm glad. So I don't know who's going to be the, the committee chairman on that, who's going to be appointed for that. Um, but they're still working on the, who's setting up the committee, who's going to be the chairman, who's going to be, you know, what panel and everything. Um, so anyway, he's getting, Mercati's getting slapped back and said, no, you cannot do this. Go check the house rules. And I think he's finding, I think he did some reading, I think he found out he cannot block selections from the uh, minority party. Can't do that. Because you have to have, um, what was it? So, so much a percentage of passing the bill through and doing investigations, things like that. Um, So anyway, um, that's really kind of neat to know, but this, Adam Schiff explained this, how this works, and, uh, of course you know he doesn't like McCarthy, <laughs> he never has. McCarthy's getting slapped back. And it's set in the house rules. Also, there was, they were, they wanted the majority get GOP there, the, you know, the radical one, you know, the radical idiot. Um, they wanted to disband the ethics committee. You can't Ethics Committee, which I found out, is a federal agency. It's appointed by the President and then appointed by both sides, the uh, Democratic and the GOP uh, party members, or, you know, those in the party or in the, you know, the National Committee and everything else. They handle all that, all the Ethics Committee thing, and McCarthy can't disband it. It's written there. No, it's in there. Ah, uh, the Ethics Committee, I think, was created... Well, I have to double-check my information on it, but... I think it was created just after Nixon was, um... got himself into trouble back in the 1970s. And there were a couple of House representatives that got themselves into trouble. Uh, and they decided, well, you know what, we need an ethics committee in there to handle all this. So, that's what they did there. Um, now, the Department of, U.S. Department of Health has strongly suggested that it may happen. You know, like we, okay, for example, like we get our flu shots every year, right? We are flu shot, we get our tetanus every 10 years, we get our, um, those that are older get our, what they call the senior super flu shot, um, and also several other important vaccinations. Well, in the subject of vaccinations, I ran into uh, one little thing while I was growing up, I discovered that my immune system will not handle the measles vaccine. Well, this happened over the weekend. There was a lady at CPAC airport that had the measles, and she was carrying it. And the King County Health Department says, well, she's right now in the hospital because she's older. 
She's in the hospital with it. And it's very contagious. And so they're saying, everybody go check your records. You know, make sure you're vaccinated for measles. And I had measles twice growing up. And my vaccine was, the vaccine that I was given wasn't working. It, my system just rejected it. So I have to be careful I don't get contracted measles again. So you say, well, if you had it twice, your immune system should be uh, pretty good. And I go, no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so anyway, they're looking at making the COVID vaccine a yearly shot because there is a lot of variants that mutate from the original COVID virus. And so they're having to say, hey, you know, best to get a booster shot every year because of this, because there's always going to be variations. It's sort of like the flu shot that there, you get your variations from the flu, you know, there's different types of flu. It depends on where it originates from. Um, some flu viruses are worse than others. Um, I remember going through college, junior college, in my psychology class. We were wiped out by the, at that time, it was the flu virus that originated from Port Chambers, Washington. And it's called the Port Chambers flu. And needless to say, I caught it. Uh, I was pretty sick from it, and on top of that, I had bronchitis from it. So you kind of got to watch yourself there, too. Now, if you had your flu shot, your COVID boosters, uh, all your shots up to date, you should be okay. But always check with your doctor to make sure, because they're always informed. So, take care of yourself. That's the important thing. And if they do the COVID booster every year, like the flu shot, then yeah, get that. People that are anti-vax, vaccine, they're not being very smart. Uh, I think they're being purposely being ignorant. And I go... In that case, when you're purposely being ignorant, you're endangering yourself and your loved ones and others. So, get your shots. Now, uh, to those of us that um, like to watch football and watch the guys do each other in, <laughs> um, I don't know how many of you watched the divisional playoffs over this weekend. There have been some pretty wild games. Um, I felt sorry for Buffalo. Um, it was a low scoring game because of the weather. They had to deal with the snowstorm that was coming in. Of course, Buffalo being hit again by heavy snow. Um, watching the guys slide, slip, slide, and skate their way to making touchdowns. Um, and of course, one guy, that's all right, Dorothy, don't worry about it. You're fine. You're cool. Um, so anyway, watching them do each other in or almost do each other in, um, was interesting. I was hoping Buffalo would win and go on to the, um, the chip championship weekend. But it was not to be in Cincinnati won. Um and of course a bunch Buffalo had a lot of their injuries. It just didn't help help them any either. Um now I watched the Dallas Cowboys and the Forty Niners. I'm glad the Forty Niners won. I I got the impression that Dallas Cowboys, they wanted to cheat, or try to cheat. 
I felt that they were a little extra rough on the opposing team. The players, the Dallas players, were very rough, and they have no need to be. Okay. Um, so I'm glad the 49ers won. Um, now their new quarterback, who replaced Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, he's out with a broken leg, by the way. Uh, the guy who, who temporarily fell in front is doing a wonderful job. So they're going to go on to the NFC Championship. Um, which is good to see. So I'm glad to see the Patriots out and the, uh, um, the other team. Tampa Bay being knocked out. I'm kind of glad to see that. I just don't care to have another cheating team in there. Um, and of course it's the AFC Championship going on too. Uh, I'm kind of worried about uh, Chris, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, they won. I'm kind of worried about uh, Patrick Mahomes. I don't know if you watched that game or not, but uh, he had a real nasty upper ankle sprain, and because the way the other player fell on him, he, his ankle went in and kind of bowed in and stuff bowing out and um your ankle's not designed to go in <laughs> roll in it's designed to roll out but not designed to roll in and they think he may have stressed the acl the tendon that runs down there um but they're running an MRI to make double sure to get, to see if he can play next weekend. If not, they're going to have to use their backup quarterback. <coughs> Who they used for a couple plays. Uh, but he was being evaluated during the uh, divisional game. Yeah, they're fighting. They're fighting Brady. Dorothy's what they're doing. The, the NFL fighting him for a rule violation. And um, you think the guy would learn? I mean, he's been in the NFL for the majority of his life. You think he would learn? You think he would know? Um. So yeah. Um, karma bit him, and uh, I don't get other teams that want him, since he's going to be a free agent, this, when the season's over and he'll be a free agent. Uh, players that are up for, for I understand the rules, the players that are eligible for free agency, uh, can't transfer to another team until after the season is completely over. Okay. So, um, anyway, other teams that want him, and I'm sorry, the guy's 45 years old. Yes, that's my statement exactly, Nancy. He should retire and just stay retired. That's right. And get it going to something else. Uh, I think what he's afraid of is, well, I don't think I'm going to be good at anybody, anything else. And so he wants to stay in football. Well, when you get older, your injuries, you start slowing down. Your injuries start catching up with you. And... Sooner or later, he's going to be so crippled up, it's not going to be any funny. Um, well, look at, for example, let me give you an example. I don't know if any of you remember the Seahawks, um, Jim Zorn. When the Seahawks were first, on their first season in 1976, 77 time frame, they played. 
That did okay. Uh, but surprised the second year they made the playoff. Well, Jim Dorn on one of those plays, I um, forgot which team they were playing against. Um, I think they were playing against San Francisco. Anyway, Jim Dorn broke his leg. Uh, it was kind of halfway up breaking his leg, and so he they knocked him out for the season. Another guy, the backup quarterback, took over. Uh, and of course, at the same time, the coach that they had there got, I never liked the, that coach. He was a, pardon us for me for saying it, the guy was a pompous ass. Uh, he did have no sympathy for players that got hurt. That coach. I'm not talking about the current coach. I'm talking about the one back in the 70s. He got fired, okay? Because uh, he wanted to, he wanted Jim Dorn to keep on playing, and people go, no, for Brooklyn Lake, you cannot play, period. Um, so anyway, uh, Jim Dorn says after that, he had, he was never the same after breaking his leg. So he played, what, two more seasons, two or three more seasons, he says, on the average, a NFL player lasts about three or four or five seasons, okay, N not long as like Brady has, um, I think Brady's like 20 years, um, you just want to go into something else, you want to plan ahead and say, okay, I'll do football first, then parlay into something else, more than anything, so, Anyway, in the divisional playoffs, I'm kind of torn. Now, let's see, I know that 49ers play. Who are, Nancy, do you know who the 49ers are going to play um, in the championship next weekend? I forgot who, who they're going to be up against. Uh, I think it's the Chiefs. No. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, um, i like to see the Kansas City Eagles. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> um, yeah, i like to see the Eagles win. i like to see the 49ers win. Um... I was hoping to see Chief. They already played the Bengal, ben, Bengals uh, this past weekend, Nancy. The Chiefs beat the Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals. They already. Did they? I'll have to look it up. Um, oh, wait a minute. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was thinking of Buffalo. Okay. Sorry. Correction. Um, yeah, I like to see the Chiefs win. Um, uh, but for the Lombardi Trophy, I would like to see, uh, either Kansas City win. Right. Uh, I like to see either Kansas City win, or I like to see, um, uh, or the other guys. Oh, the um, Kansas City Chiefs win. One of the two. Chiefs or the uh, the other team. Or the 49ers. One of the two. So anyway, uh, okay, well it's time for me to sign off already. Time is flying by. Uh, I'm still working on my graphics introduction card on my YouTube. Uh, I've been using Microsoft, what they call Big Clamp, and it, what it does, it helps you create, you know, cards, introduction cards and everything, but for some reason I can't get it to work on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll try again today. If it doesn't, please let me know when you view my YouTube channel, when I post, post today's um, 
today's uh, post. So anyway, I hope all is well. I will be here on Wednesday. Let me check my schedule. Just one minute. Um, yeah, I'll be here on Wednesday for my rant show. And I hope to see you guys then. I'll keep you posted. And um, take care. Okay? Be sure to insist, persist, and push back. I will. You too, Dorothy. Stay safe. You too, Nancy. Stay warm. Take care. Love to all. And be sure to share. Okay? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye.